The other thing that we can use the harmonic identity for is for finding maxima and minima um, rather than doing differentiation. Maxima and minima is just the plural of maximum points and minimum points. It's just the plural that we've got there. So this question says, find the maximum value of 12 cos theta plus 5 sine theta and give the smallest positive value of theta at which it arises. So it doesn't tell you to use the harmonic identity, but obviously we know it's going to be the harmonic identity because we're doing this topic. So I'm going to start off by doing 12 cos theta plus 5 sine theta. What do you think that one can be rewritten using? Sine of um, theta plus alpha, because it's theta in this question. Then when I do the expansion, I get r sine theta cos alpha plus r cos theta sine alpha, which means how much do we think that r cos alpha is? Five. Five. R cos alpha is the one that goes with sine theta. Sine theta is going with five. R sine alpha is going to be the other one, which is 12. And so r is the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is 13. 5, 12, 13 is one of those special Pythagorean triangles that we've got there, OK? And tan alpha is sine alpha over cos alpha. So alpha is the inverse tan of 12 over 5. And I think we'll just stick in degrees here. It doesn't really say the inverse tan of 12 over 5. And we get 67.4 degrees to one decimal place. So 12 cos theta plus 5 sine theta is equal to 13 sine theta plus 67.4 degrees. So we've done the harmonic bit. And now we want to try and think right back from the start of this lesson what was the maximum values on these graphs? So what, was the, what would the maximum value be on this graph? 13. It would be 13, right? Do you remember when we looked at these ones at the beginning? The maximum value on this graph was 5 because it was the sine graph and it was being multiplied by 5. And the sine graph's maximum value is normally 1, so its maximum value is now going to be 5. So it's going to be the exact same thing in this question that we've got here. The maximum value, and you don't have to say why, you can just say the maximum value is 13. It doesn't ask about the minimum value, but obviously the minimum value is negative 13. But the question does say... When does the maximum value occur? What is the smallest positive value of theta at which it arises? So I know the maximum value is 13, and this occurs when sine of theta plus 67.4 is equal to 1. That's when sine is the maximum. So I'm just going to ignore the 13 bit for a second. And I'm saying that the overall thing is a maximum when this thing is a maximum. And when this thing is a maximum, what is the value of, um, of the argument, the overall argument, when sine is 1? Good. Theta plus 67.4 must be equal to 90 degrees in order for the whole thing to be equal to 1, because the sine of 90 is 1. You could also do the, you could solve this equation. You could do the inverse sine of 1, and your calculator would give you 90. And so the value of theta is going to be 90 minus 67.4, which is uh, 22.6 degrees. Now, it's not the only value of theta where this maximum occurs, because sine is not only 1 at 90 degrees, but it's also at 90 plus 360. It's also 450 degrees. And if I took away 67.4 from that, I've got 382.6 degrees. But the question asked for something particular. The question asked for the smallest positive value, which is why I will take that value as my answer. And I wouldn't use that one, even though technically that would give a maximum value. 
I'm only interested in where it's the smallest value of theta. And I'm going to put all of this on Desmos so that we can see what's happening. So it is 12 cos theta plus 5 sine theta. 12 cos x plus 5 sine x. Just quickly change the step of the x to 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Let's try that instead. That's better. OK, so here is the graph that they were asking us to say, what is the maximum value of it? Well, you can see here the maximum value is at 13. And that occurs when the smallest positive value of x is 22.6. The next value is here, which we said was 382.62. And the minimum value, unsurprisingly, is all the way down here at minus 13 as well. So you can use this to help you try and work out some other kinds of problems. So I'd like you to have a go now at the Solomon worksheet F, question 4, 7, 8, and 9. So question 4 is about doing the maximum values and the smallest positive values of x. And then 7, 8, 9. I think they are mostly solving equations questions. So you've got some practice of solving equations as well. And that's it. <laughs>